Let me tell you a story about Molly, my cat. I met Molly at the Humane Society when she was 10 weeks old. She was there in this large cage with the other kittens. I thought she was the most beautiful kitten I had ever seen, sort of a fuzzy Siamese, far superior to the uh, ordinary orange alley cats in the cage with her. But she was shy. She hid under a bench in the cage, and she wouldn't come out, and she hissed at the other cats when they came near. I thought to myself, I don't want a cat that will hide under the bed all day. I want a cat to cuddle with. Maybe this is not the kitten for me. So I went back to the young woman at the desk and told her of my dilemma. She said that I should talk to the pet counselor. <laughs> so Molly, Molly could be put on hold until I made up my mind. So I waited my turn and for the pet counselor, and uh, I thought I would, I would take a look at the grown cats that were up for adoption. Maybe, maybe it'd be better for me to get a grown cat. So as I went by, each cage had notes about the personality of the cat. It would read something like this. Adorable six-year-old cat likes children when frightened, pees on the floor. <laughs> so I thought, well, it's one thing for me to go to a pet counselor. <laughs> Sounds like some of these cats would have to go to their own counselor. So um, anyway, after some reassurance from the pet counselor, I took Molly home. And she was fine. She was a little shy, but just fine. And then one day, a friend was over, and she said to me, that's a really beautiful kitten. Too bad she has a crossed eye. <laughs> and I looked at Molly, and I looked at my friend, and I said, no, she doesn't. <laughs> and so the next day, another friend was over. So I said casually to this friend, um, say, uh, do you think that my uh, cat has a crossed eye? <laughs> and she said immediately, <clears throat> well, yes, one of her eyes is a little crossed. And I said, no, it isn't. <laughs> This is what it means to see with the eyes of love. <laughs> Molly's eyes are precisely the way they are supposed to be. <laughs> End of the story. <laughs> so beauty has many uses in human life, but no real intention except pleasure. Our attraction to something beautiful is instant as in, and is from the spirit, not from the logical brain. Beauty is insistent. It moves us. We may fall into awe. Beauty allows us to rest as though some puzzle piece has finally found its place. Beauty helps us to heal in a broken world. We are taken out of our workaday existence and we find ourselves in a space that is timeless and eternal. Beauty causes what one scholar has called a radical decentering. We no longer feel that we ourselves are the center of the world, a blessed escape. So Etsu Yangi, founder of Japan's modern craft movement, movement, defines beauty as that which gives unlimited scope to the imagination. Beauty is a source of imagination that never dries up. And so that takes us full circle back to the divine spark within each one of us that transcends all else and brings us hope and inspiration for a living. We Americans are practical people. We play so much on the surface of things. We think that because we have more and bigger, we are better. But there is a glow and incandescence, a numinous quality to existence, which is every bit as necessary to us as food and water. Beauty is a way through to that divine place. It can give us what we can get from few sources so readily and dependably. A calming of the heart, a resting of the soul. We are wanderers, journeymen on this earth. We are here only for a short time. But through the power of beauty, we can know our kinship with the earth and with all who have ever lived upon it and with all who will ever live upon it. 
we can be taken to a place of harmony and joy, a place where at best we can know that our separation is but an illusion. Look at the buds bursting out of their bonds just now. Smell the sweetness in the air. Give yourself time to really see the person you are with rather than rushing into talk. Allow time to experience a fine film, a well-crafted poem, a walk through an art gallery. Surround yourself with beauty in your home and in your city. And most of all, train your heart to receive the abundance that is there for you, freely given. So be it. Amen.